Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just emailed me with a question. What's the difference between, he said border, but I'm sure he means boundary. He asked me the difference between the border, so I'm going to say boundary, and the contour tool. Well, first of all, the boundary tool is only usable when the objects are not grouped together. And it's going to create a boundary, the shape of that. Now, to contour, if you'll see, we go to effects and contour, everything's grayed out because these are not grouped together. So if we go up to object or control G, now these are highlighted and we can contour them. And then we can go to object and break contour apart. And now we have that. I didn't break it apart, evidently. Well, sorry about that. So now we have a contour that's slightly larger than the uh, boundary tool. That's because we boundary or we did that. So let's uh, let's back up here so we don't have a contour. So this is un these are grouped together. So we can do a very slight contour of point zero zero one and hit apply and then go up and select it all and go to object, break contour apart. And now we have a contour that is similar. Let's hit P and put in the center of the page and hit P, put in the center of the page. So they're almost identical. One of them might be a hair slightly. I mean, 0.001 is not much. So the difference is contour tool works when things are grouped together like this and the boundary tool works when they're not grouped together. So as soon as we hit that, that it will pop up. This is a very useful tool. A lot of times when you cannot contour something, it'll basically give you your outside shape. And then you can always contact, contour, contour that to whatever you want. Let's make it 0.5 and just made it a little bit bigger so you can keep going and you can go in multiple steps, we can do 0.5 times five layers of that and get a pretty neat contour. I do that a lot when I'm let's, uh, just playing around. Let's uh, zoom in here. Let's take the contour and break them apart. And then take your Smart Fill tool and fill in every other layer. And you've got a totally different design. Anyway, I hope that answers his question. Thank you for watching.